Ladies and gentlemen, TNA Lockdown continues with this one-on-one -on -one crunch match scheduled for one fall. Introducing first from Houston, Florida, Kid James. The past five weeks on Thursday Night Impact have been so intriguing because we've been able to go up close and personal. TNA's Rough Cut taking us, yes, behind the scenes into the lives of a decade-long friendship. A decade-long tag team partnership that went right down the drain. Why? Because of the jealousy of one man, and that's one man that you're looking at right now inside the ring, and I'm talking about Kip James. Let's introduce his partner, his former partner, his opponent tonight at Lockdown. Many of us anticipated that he would go to Kip and together for 10 years. Instead, he talked about the dream that he's had, a dream of a lifetime, to be tag team champions of the world with his father, Bullet Bob Armstrong, and it rubbed Kip the wrong way, and here we go. I'll tell you something, it's a matchup that when you look at the physicality part of it, advantage Kip James. I mean, look at the size, the strength is legendary, and oh, you can just see the smashes to the face of BG. BG James, though, I think has always been considered the brains of this duo. He's going to have to use every bit of them. And that sometimes is not even enough when you've got somebody that athletic and that size that Kip James is. And Mike, you talked about how that started. I think it just kept smoldering and kept and smoldering. And then after the case, the decision to go with the father, he just couldn't let it go. And now it's just become this green monster inside of him. Kip James always considered the brawn, the muscle of the tag team, goes for the clothesline, but look at these quick shots, the quick jabs by BG. Oh, oh, man, oh. just what he went for it out of nowhere, he just got stunned. Well, who's gonna know him better than Kip? And that's something that, that you really gotta look at the situation. Yes, BG James knows Kip inside and out, but vice versa. But when it comes to the in-ring action, BG James, it, it's gonna have to do whatever it can, but look how this match started. Look at this sucker punch right away by Kip James, and that's how he started it, and that's how he's gotten the momentum from the beginning after that sucker punch at the beginning, Mike. Well, you're right. We talked about it even before the opening bell. That quick shot by Kip gave him the advantage. BG turns it around momentarily, but then it's Kip right back in the driver's oh. seat. And you know, I was thinking about this matchup. Prior to the lockdown pay-per-view tonight, I thought that the one competitor that might be able to change up his game plan a little bit would stand probably the best chance to win because of what you just talked about. The familiarity between the two. Hell, tag team partners for 10 years? I'll tell you, though, once you get your bell wrong like BG did at the beginning of this matchup and then have your back of your head just smash into that unforgiving steel, two straight shots by Kip James. Right now, BG James is just reeling. And I mean, it is, oh, nice move. Get the elbow up, and now he's gonna try to come off, but he caught that knee and just, just turned inside out. Sure did, turned him inside out. Look how happy Kip is with how things have gone here. What, some interesting comments from Samoa Joe, putting his career at stake. At the conclusion of this matchup, BG and Kip, we will hear from the reigning TNA World Heavyweight Champion, Kurt Angle. I'm guaranteeing you he's got some interesting things to say about that title match where tonight he can take Samoa Joe's career away from him. And he'd love nothing more. He'd love to be the one to be able to say that forever, that he ended Samoa Joe's wrestling career. But right now, Kip James just choking the air out of BG. Just got that arm cinched around the neck, using that strength to lay on top, and just taking the air right out of the tire. And you can see the pain in Kip's face. You can just see it. BG. I mean, in BG's face, Kip just applying that pressure and not stopping. What we talked about at the outset of the match, Kip being the muscle here and trying to use that edge that he has in power and strength to hold BG down. Crowd comes alive. BG going to try and get a little bit of an adrenaline rush, trying to feed off this great crowd here in the greater Boston area. We're in Lowell, Massachusetts. BG back up to that vertical base. Stop right in his tracks with the knee. Every time BG James gets any offense going, oh, nice kick. If you can see Kip, but look at this. Every time he Whoa. just uses that strength and stops the momentum, Mike. And I mean, just face planted him. 
right in the cage. And I've talked about it before, but the cage has zero give. It's just the way it's configured. And you ask any of the guys that have been in it, they'll tell you it's unlike any cage they've ever been in. That's the key. Nothing like the six sides of steel until you've been in there for that very first time, until you know exactly what you're getting into. Check this out. Kip measures. Doubles him over. Caught him with that boot. Off the ropes. Oh, man. Just planted him straight down. Someone throwing a towel. This is the strength aspect of it ever since the beginning. Kip has just had his way, and right now you wonder about the career and the livelihood of Bill. Oh, I thought it was over. I was just, I just thought it was over. Sort of slow to cover after the famous are right there. It looked like how confident he was, and maybe that delay, that momentary delay that he had may have cost him and may have enabled B.G. James to kick out at two. And then you wonder, is it just a, a reflex action, a last-ditch effort? Kip doesn't look like he plans on, look at this. Going up to the second rope, standing on it as he's just measuring BG. Oh, but BG, oh, the low blow, the low blow, but you can't blame him. Anything you can do to stop that train from rolling. Caught him south of the border, no question about that. What a shot that was by BG, but you talk about taking the complexion of a matchup and turning it totally in your favor. That's what BG James just did to Kip. Oh, yeah, yes, me. I'd do the same thing. I mean, you've got to you've got to do whatever you can to stop that. I mean, it was just an onslaught. It was just a, a reflexive move, but it's enabled him to get to his feet. But look at that. He walks right into another wicked right. But now he's trading punches. I think BG looks at it as turnabout fair play after that cheap shot at the Good opening point. bell. Exchange in mid-ring, and boy, it was going pretty even for a bit, but now BG gets the better of it. Tip shot off. Elbow was on target. It dropped him. I'll tell you what, though, he's got to not let up for a second. He's got to keep this momentum going. And nice move there as he turns in him. The left jab, the left jab, the left jab. And this time he didn't go through. He just grabbed the head and threw it against the cage. Yeah, the realization just oh. set in on that he's got that extra weapon. His six sides of steel to use. And he's taking Kip from one side to the other. A dazed oh. and confused Kip. Knock out blow, courtesy of BG James with that big overhand right. Here he goes. Oh, man, and there it is. Oh, he drops the knee right to the chin. Here it is. One, two. Oh, man, Kip. Just that incredible strength. Got the shoulder up, Mike. On the verge of victory, and you can sense it right there. BG really feeling it goes airborne, crotched himself on the middle rope. That didn't work out too well. BG just going for the finisher there. He's just trying to just get the knee placed right. Anything he can to stop Kip. And now look at Kip James. You can see it. Getting himself ready as he stomps the foot three times, four times. And goes right after him. But BG always aware. There's roll a roll up. up. Shoulders down. Two. Two. Got yes. it. Here is your winner, BG. Yes, BG James the winner. Andrew Thomas signals to the crowd that he gets the W. Well, he used his, his, his head right there, he used his brains to cleverness. He stole the opportunity, grabbed the shorts, and just got him into the quick roll up and got the pin. And in, in BG's mind, you gotta wonder what is going through it. As you look at Kip just staring at him, and you gotta wonder. Check the, this out. Yeah, check out this body language here between the two. Oh, he wants the handshake. Mike, he wants think, to put this to rest. They've been through. He wants to put this to rest. Yes, that's what you've got to do when you've been together as long as these two. It's over, guys. You've been able to, you've worked it out. Now you can see Kip talking to him. And Mike, that's a great, great sight to see after everything they've been through. The decade-long friendship yeah. between these two. You gotta love it. Reunited, right there. Wait a Whoa. minute. Oh my God, how low can you get? I didn't even think Kip could sink to those depths. Oh my God, he just, BG was feeling so good and now that. He sucked us all in is exactly what he did. He fooled BG James, he certainly fooled us, he fooled everybody here in the crowd. I thought they had put their differences aside after this match. I was so proud of the way he held his hand up to the crowd. I was so enamored with it.
I thought it was great. I don't believe it. What a reaction from Kip James for his decade-long friend to the back and JB with the TNA champ, Kurt Angle.